In this section, I will show you how to save a picture from MATLAB into a PNG file, and also how to make the PNG output looks almost the same with what you see in a MATLAB plot, plot window. First, we generate a variable, and then we create a new figure, figure 3, and plot these two variables. And here is the figure you see. And if you directly save the figure with print command, you will get the default size of the picture. Here I explain the um, argument for this print, uh, print function. Get current figure give you, will give you the handle of the current figure. And then you tell the name you want to save and the format. I don't know what this D is for, but basically it's a PNG file. And let's check out the result. Here is the PNG file we got. And you will see it's, it's a quite bigger, it's, it's, it's quite larger than the original figure in the MATLAB window. It has a pixel 1200 times 900. Why? Why this number? Um, because the default output size for MATLAB plot is 8 inches times is 8 inches times 6 inches and the default DPI which is dot per inch is 150 so you times it by 8 or by 6 you get 1200 or 900 and here if you zoom the, the, the output file to the size of the MATLAB plot window you will see that the label the, the width the size of the marker all changed so this is not exactly what we want from here. I will show you how to set, how to make them the same. And before I do that, um, I take a detour to explain how do you place the figure on certain at certain positions on your computer screen. You can use it com with a command. Here you use set set current figure and the position of it to be 100, 10, 800, and 400. Let's see the result. Here you, you see it. The four numbers here respond, uh, corresponding to 100 is uh, the distance from the border of the figure to the left corner of the left side of the screen. And 10 is from the, to the bottom. And 800 is waist, 400 height. And of course, we can use the figure handle 3, which is the same, uh, which, which will give you the same result as get current figure, because the current figure is figure, figure 3. Mm. OK, but this command has nothing to do with the output file. We begin to set up the output file size uh, with these two commands. The first one is set the current figure. Uh, you want to set the property paper position to this value. Uh, the first number has nothing to do with output file um, because it's only about the position of the window on the screen. And here is 8 divided by 100, which is 8, and this is 4. And after that, you print the figure, which is a 8 inch times 4 inch pi picture with the DPI 100 per 100 dots per inch, so the result will be 800 times 400. That's the result. Here, you see the size is what we want, and looks pretty much the same with the with the figure window here. And also, if you want to, uh, you don't know the size of the. You don't know the height or width. You just want to save a picture which looks exactly the same um, on the MATLAB window, like this one. What you do? What you do is you want you want to get the 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 width and height first with get command. Get the current figure. You get the property of the current figure um, position, and you give it to a variable called figure size. Now you'll say the, the width is 344 and height is 575 here. 
uh, these two numbers is a screen parameter. It doesn't affect the output file. Then you save this. You save this p current figure with the paper position you just get from the screen, and then save a picture with 100 dpi. The default is 115. Let's check out the result. Here, yeah, pretty much the same as the MacLab window. All right, that concludes this section. See you next.